In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to assemble the Savannah or the Regency gate kit. These are some of the parts that you'll receive when you open up your Savannah or Regency gate kit. You'll have your hinge, your latch, screws with screw caps, still inserts for your rails, your uprights, Notice how one side has an extra piece, that's for your drop rod. If you have a double gate, the first piece that was shown will be for the double gate, the other piece will be for the other gate. Notice the cap on top. That's how you know which end is at the top. If you have a double gate, then you'll also receive a drop rod. For this next step, we've already cut down the rails and the steel. Just remember you want your steel to be about 3 8 of an inch shorter than your rails. So if you have a gate that's 48 inches wide, you want a 1 inch gap for your latch, a 1 inch gap for your hinge, and then just subtract the uprights. That's how you're going to get the measurement for your rail. Now we're going to slide the steel onto the top peg. Slide the top rail on. For this next step, we have already cut the pickets down, but it's pretty simple. To get your measurement, you just measure from the bottom and the bottom of each peg on the upright, as shown, and then subtract a quarter inch, and that's where you'll cut your pickets. I'm going to slide the pickets into the top rail. Now we're going to put the pickets in the bottom rail. For this step, we're not going to put the steel in the bottom rail until all the pickets are in. Now we'll just slide the bottom rail into place and make sure it goes into that peg. From here we're going to put the other upright on, just sliding the peg into the steel. Once it goes in we'll be ready to strap it. Okay, you just wrap a strap around the center of the gate. Pull it snug. You don't want to bend your upright. You just want to get it tight enough where it closes up any of the gaps. So when you put your screws in, everything is going to look nice and flush. After it's tightened down, go ahead and walk around your gate and just line up the rails. Make sure it looks good before you put your screws in. Okay, now go around each corner of the gate and measure over one inch and three inches. That's where you're going to put the screws. Now get the self-tapping screws that came in your kit and it'll drill through the vinyl and through the metal. Make sure when you're drilling these in that they are centered up on the rail because you are drilling into a round pipe. If you're not centered up, your screw will try to run on you. After you get all the screws in, 
make sure you get the screw caps and you put those on the top. You don't need the caps on the bottom of the gate because they won't be visible. So again, just clip those right onto the top and that will finish your gate. This is an extremely strong gate, much stronger than a standard vinyl gate that does not have steel stiffeners. For more tutorials, visit our website, wholesalevinylfencing.net.